Hey! Is this how you wanted it? Xehanort! You wanna fill me in? I am. Hey! Do you remember now, or...? Wait... Did you never lose your memory? That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? My name is Ansem. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. Riku, a storm's coming. I know. The waves are getting steep. Furl the sail. Right. Uh, Riku! I'm fine. What's that? <laughs> oh, he was right. Those wretched guppies are here! Well, it's about time we settle the score! Ursula, but how... Is this the test? Come on! Uh -huh. You can work it out later! All right! Sorry, dearies, but I won't fall for that trick!
has been connected. As a Keyblade Master, Xehanort had a gift like few others. But such great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found in the Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our past were in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Xehanort had to know, so he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light. Keyblade wielders like yourselves. And mark my words. He will trouble us yet again. We must be ready. Which is why you, Sora and Riku, are to be tested for the mark of a true Keyblade Master. No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Only a true master can teach you the proper way. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders. An impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions, forget what you know about the Keyblade, and begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Yeah. But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the King and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, Riku? I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Walking that path changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a Keyblade. 
Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. Very well then. Sora and Riku, let your examination begin. This is... Traverse Town. Hey, what's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. What happened to Riku? Riku! Hello? Riku! Shut it. Huh? Talk about noise. Ah! <laughs> ah! <sighs> Sora, right? Yeah, but... Uh, how do you know that? Looks like you're not a player. A player? Come on, keep up. In the game. Players get marked with the time limit. And this game, I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Look, sorry. You're no good. You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? Now we're friends? It's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool! Lead the way! Whoa! 
I didn't catch your name. Dream Eaters! That's a weird name. Not me. Them. Right. I knew that. Don't let them surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neku. Huh? Neku Sakuraba. You asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, it's really not. <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take them. things with you. They're Dream Eaters too? Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Sure. I guess. If we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked, and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken, or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness, but some never returned completely. They still sleep, cut off from all outside channels. Not even the Heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called Dream Eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares, which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits, which consume the nightmares. The Dream Eaters will guide you, just as the Heartless once guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world.
I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. What's the matter, Neku? Oh, no way! Hey, that wasn't the deal. You said you wouldn't hurt him. Don't, Neku! They're too dangerous! What? Why am I so... Am I in... Traverse Town? My clothes have changed. Sora! Where are you? I remember we fell overboard after Ursula attacked, and then I think we opened a keyhole. So, this must be one of the sleeping worlds. My keyblade. It just sort of popped into my hand when I needed it most. Right. It started. Wow. Huh? Where's your portal? Huh? It takes something special to jump between grounds without one. Who are you? My name is Joshua. What do you mean, portal? Are we just skipping past the part where you tell me your name? Riku. <laughs> Hello there, Riku. Portals are like gateways that link up our worlds. Apparently, the world you and I are standing in right now, well, there are two copies of it. It's been sort of split in half. Portals are what let folks like us cross between them. There can be two of a world? The world is as many things as people need it to be. The concept that we all live in the same world that's just in our heads. Surely you knew. I'll tell you what, Riku. I've got a little errand for you. Sorry. I don't trust you. Aw, <laughs> uh, at least hear me out. I'm looking for a girl named Ryan. She's the key to the portal. And on the other side, who knows who we'll find. Maybe even your friend, Sora. You know Sora? <laughs> now I have your attention. But, unfortunately, I don't know where he is. If he's not in this version of the world, 
I can only assume he has to be in the other one. Simple logic. Okay. You want to find Rhyme? You got it. Let's go. Joshua, why don't they ever attack you? They being dream eaters? They won't go after you unless you're a dreamer. Which is funny, because I've got plenty of dreams. But they're definitely attacking me. So, you think I'm a dreamer? Every human being is a dreamer. I had a friend once, who said he never dreamed of anything. But it turned out that his were the most powerful dreams of all. You sort of remind me of him. Why don't we give your dreams shape? In this world, they take form as dream eaters, which can become great allies.
I got you huh? now, Joshua! Hmm? Once I take you down, yo, me and Rhymes is going back where we belong. Beat. How many times do we have to go over this? You've been tricked by that rogue in the black coat. What? Black coats? But that's... I'm telling you, you've made a friend of our enemy. Just can it, all right? Your inverse psychiatry ain't gonna work. Let's go, Dream Eaters! <laughs> what? Ugh, man, not cool. You know what? Forget it. This is stale, yo. <laughs> Playing the tough guy 24-7? I'd be worn out, too. I just... want to protect the one person who matters. <laughs> I know the feeling. Ugh. Why am I suddenly... so sleepy? Long ago, in the age of fairy tales, the world was filled with light, a gift many believed from an unseen power known as Kingdom Hearts. You see, Kingdom Hearts was protected by its counterpart, the Keyblade, so that none could ever lay hands on its mysteries. But in time, the world was overrun by legions who wanted the light all for themselves, and the first shadows were cast upon the land. These warriors crafted Keyblades in the image of the original Keyblade, and waged a great war over Kingdom Hearts. We call this the Keyblade War. But though the war extinguished all light from the world, the darkness could not reach the brightness inside every child's heart. With that light, the world was remade as we know it today, with countless smaller worlds shining like stars in the sky. As for the real Keyblade, it did not survive the battle. The two elements that created it, one of darkness and one of light, shattered into twenty pieces, seven of light, thirteen of darkness. And as for the source of all light, the one true Kingdom Hearts. It was swallowed by the darkness, never to be seen again. As long as it remains there, even the brightest world will have its dark corners. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, some decided to use the Keyblade 
a weapon designed to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. fell asleep, Neku said that he and that creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? Are the two of them in league? That can't be right. We never even found Neku's partner. I guess I should just take a look around.
Way before. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> hey, um, any chance you're Neku's partner? Huh? Um, I'm not really sure. All I know is that my name is Ryan. You mean you've lost your memory? Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's no big deal. You know what they always say. Sometimes memories just need a little help getting out. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Huh, a little help. I know. Maybe Neku can jog your memory. Come on, Ryan. Let's go find him. Right. Did I fall asleep? Where are Joshua and Beat? Hey, do you mind? Huh?
Stay back. Seriously, thanks. I'm Shiki. How about you? Riku. Thanks, Riku. Sure. Hey, that's it? You chat up a girl and then just say, sure, and walk off? I'm bad at this. Sorry. Look, it's not safe here. You should go home. If it's dangerous, how can you just leave me here? Aren't you my knight in shining armor? Well? N knight You've got the wrong idea. Oh my gosh, I was so just kidding. You get out much? Uh, uh. You remind me of this guy I know. Well, good thing we met. Yeah, great.
Over there! What? Hey! We should stick together! <coughs> Perfect. You can't expect me to... <gasps> Shiki. No way. How did you get here? Who are you? By choice or chance, you cannot control what you are not aware of. This wakeless sleep will be your prison, to wander forever. What do you mean? Riku! Don't you listen to that punk! Shiki's gonna be fine! She told me what's up! Hoodie here set this whole thing up, yo. He promised to send Shiki back to our world, and you was the cost of travel. Yo, this is seriously one half-baked excuse for a mission. Bet you ain't even a reaper. All right. Who are you? Wait! Ah. I'm really sorry, Riku. Ah. It's all right. Beat. Watch her. I got this, yo! Yeah. 
What are we seeing? This oh. is so messed up, man. She's right here in front of me, and I can't reach her. <sighs> If your hearts are connected, you'll reach her. Rhyme. Neku. <laughs> Sora. Pinocchio! San! Where have you run off to? Isn't that... Geppetto? Then... this must be...
What's the matter? Huh? Goodness, who, who are you? Riku. Oh, Riku, you poor lad. Seems you were swallowed up by Monstro just like the rest of us. My name is Gippetto, and I'm looking for my son Pinocchio. Pinocchio's gone missing? I'm afraid so. After all my searching, I found him here in the whale. But then he ran off again to who knows where. That sounds kind of... familiar. Mr. Geppetto, let me go look for your son. You would do that? Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. 
Leave it to me. Did you say you were really going to help us find Pinocchio? Hmm? Huh? Jiminy? Huh? That's right. Name's Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. But, shucks. Have we met? No. You know, never mind. Hmm. If you say so. Anyway, Pinocchio comes first. Right. Any idea where he went? Well, I'm almost certain he wandered off with a stranger. Can you describe him? Hmm. I remember he was dressed in a black coat. Huh? A black coat? He's back again. Thanks. Huh? Well, I'm going with you. Pinocchio's gonna need his conscience, and that's where I come in. Neku, it's you! Sora... What? You actually still trust me? Of course I do! But you know that I tricked you, right? That guy in the black coat? He said he could send me home. Me and my partner. But I had to bring you to him first. Sorry. No big deal. When it really mattered, you stood up for me. And besides, we're friends, right? Friends. <sighs> <laughs> oh, hey, Neku. This here is Rhyme. Is she your game partner? No. Sorry. I'm teamed up with somebody else. Huh? What? Rhyme! Huh? Hey, wait! Out of my way!
Riku! Huh? Hold on, Sora. Huh? Joshua. Hello, Neku. How long the days without you have felt. Rhyme! I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> Neku, do you know this guy? Yeah. Joshua. He's my... friend. Okay. Are you the one who took Rhyme away? And why do you know my name? If you'd like to settle down for a sec, I'll field your questions one at a time. Let's start with Rhyme. I'm hanging on to her dreams for her. They're my portal. Huh? Let's just say her dreams are a gateway between worlds. Oh. <laughs> Next question. How could I possibly know your name? Right? This town has a little secret. It only appears when someone out there has need of shelter. I'll spare you the details, but right now it's made up of my dreams. So of course I know you. I dreamed you up. I know your best friend Riku, too. Really? You know Riku? Well, yeah. I'm kind of omniscient. Then where is he? He's right inside this projection. In another imagining of this world. You mean... another Traverse Town? Can I get there with your portal thing? Sad to say, it won't work for you. My portal thing only opens for the one with Rhyme's dreams. In this projection, you're seeing another chain of events. In another world trapped by the Dream Eaters. As for how the world got split in two... I have a feeling you'll need to ask this guy. Him again. Huh? Who's that? Beat. Shiki. Riku. In their world, something happened that brought their existence to an end. To keep them from fading altogether, I gathered up the very last remnants of their dreams and looked for a place to give them refuge. It was then, this world appeared to answer my call, and Rhyme's dreams allowed us to reach it. Here, I thought they might have a chance that the pieces of their dreams 
could make them whole again. Imagine my surprise when I realized dreams take bodily form in this world. It struck me, by linking their dream pieces back together, maybe I could make them exist again. Maybe I could give them another chance. It can't be that simple. <laughs> well, why can't it? By ourselves, we're no one. It's when other people look at us and see someone. That's the moment we each start to exist. All they needed was for someone to see them, connect with them. And the two of you were a big part of making it happen. Joshua, just who are you? <laughs> Let's say, a friend. One dream is connected to another, which means we must choose in which sleeping world you will begin. I will return you to the Destiny Islands just before they were swallowed by the darkness and plunged into sleep. Once dreams take you, you must let them guide you to the sleeping worlds. As there are seven pure lights, there are seven sleeping keyholes. Unlocking these will both grant you new powers and free the worlds from their wakelessness. Complete this task and return here safely, and I will name you both True Masters.
Pinocchio. He must have his poor father worried sick. Hmm. Still, that little fella's some miracle. Imagine, Mr. Geppetto's wooden puppet brought to life by the Blue Fairy. She made his wish for a son come true because he's given so much happiness to others. Now Pinocchio needs me to guide him and be his conscience. So maybe one day he can be a real... <laughs> well, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jiminy. First, you gotta go find Pinocchio. Huh? Hey, Jiminy, what's up? Hmm? Who are you? You shouldn't be here, young man. What? Are you okay, Jiminy? Huh? You mean you've heard of me? <laughs> well, I'll be. The name Jiminy Cricket's already spread far and wide. Really? You feeling all right? It's me, Sora. Sora, you say? Hmm. Gosh, I don't think I recognize you, but the name does have a familiar ring. Um... Oh, yeah. In the sleeping worlds, real time does not flow. Unless one restores the world by waking it from its slumber, it will stay locked in a dream forever. Thus, you may encounter familiar faces, but they are just figments of the dream. In actuality, they are sound asleep. Trapped within a world that is also sleeping. What's more, whilst someone may no longer dwell in the real version of a world, dreams may paint a fuller picture and restore what seems to be missing. The real Jiminy Cricket wasn't trapped in this world, so maybe... It's like the dream world's putting him back where he belongs. What's that? I can't hear you. Right. It's very nice to meet you, Jiminy. Well, sure. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Sora. Oh, yeah. So, how come you said I need to get out of here? <laughs> you can't fool me. You still think we know each other. And you've just about got me thinking it, too. Hmm. But where was I? Oh, yes. This is a terrible place. Boys here are allowed to wreck things and loaf around and make jack o mules of themselves. And poor lost Pinocchio. He wandered in here on my watch. <gasps> That's right. That's where I must have heard your name, Sora. From my friend Pinocchio. He knows me? But how? Shame on you, Pinocchio, playing hooky and goofing off in a place like this. I'm sorry, Jiminy. I was going to school till I met somebody. Yeah, uh, two big monsters with big green eyes. <whistles> hmm? Oh, you don't say. And then what happened? They, uh, they tied me in a big sack. <whistles> oh. Sounds like you were horsing around. But I snuck off when they weren't looking. My nose! What's happened? There. You see where those tall tails will get you? But it's all true! Even the fella in the black clothes who said to play a trick on Sora! What? Now who was he? I've had just about enough of your fibbing. Hold on. I guess that part was true. Tell me, Pinocchio, did that man in black say anything else to you? Um, he sure didn't. Well, good. Hey, look at that! That star again! The Blue Fairy! Why, Pinocchio, what has happened to your nose? Oh, um... Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Sir Jiminy? Well, you see, uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, uh, Miss Fairy... Oh, please help me. I'm awful sorry. You see, Pinocchio, 
A lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. I'll never lie again. Honest, I won't. I'll forgive you this once. But remember, a boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. We'll be good, won't we? Very well. But this is the last time I can help you. <gasps> that guy again. Forget him. If I don't find Pinocchio, he'll turn into a donkey like the rest of the boys. Right. Then let me help you find him, Jiminy. Really? I'd be grateful. But how in the world do you know Pinocchio? Oh. Uh, um... Hey! Over there! I see him! Gosh! That is Pinocchio! All aboard, Jiminy! <laughs> Take it away!